All right, guys, welcome back. So in the last video, we learned how to create this game window using Pygame. So this window is a little bit not personalized because it says Pygame window over here. The background is weird. The logo is not there. So in this video, we are going to be learning about three main things. So first thing is how to change the caption of this window instead of Pygame window. We'll make it something, say it something like Space Invaders. We are going to learn how to change the logo of this window. Right now it's like a snake or a turtle or something like that. And how to change the background color of this window. Now these three things are very basic, but obviously very important when you're creating a game. So let's get starting on that. And first thing we are going to do is obviously just comment that so that you guys can come back to this code and look what's happening. So we are going to write a comment title and icon. And after that, we are going to change the caption or the title of our window and Pygame makes it very, very easy. You just write in Pygame dot display because we are meddling with the display of our window so we have to write in dot display and then dot set underscore caption and then it requires the title of the window let's just call it space invaders because that is what we are creating and then we are going to create the image so you must have been seeing this ufo.png image over here we are going to be using this image in just a second i'm going to show you how you can get this image but before that let me just uh, add this icon inside our uh, program. So for that, this is also very easy. First of all, what you can do if you want to get the same image is that you can go to this website known as flaticon.com and then search for spaceships or any kind of icon. So I've searched for spaceship and I got this cute UFO icon. So to download this, you can just click on download collection and make sure that you select PNG and then 32 by 32 pixel size. So whenever you are working with an icon in Pygame, make sure you select the 32 into 32. I haven't experimented with 24 or 16 pixels. It might work, but I'm just going to go with 32 into 32 pixels. You can select any other icon if you want. So I selected this icon and I just downloaded it into my project. And here is ufo.png. Now to add this inside our Python program, it's pretty easy. You just type in icon equals to pygame.image because we are using an image. So we are going to be using the image module that is inside Pygame and then dot load. We want the image to load and then we just write the name of the image. So in my case, it's ufo.png. So we are going to use that ufo.png. And then the next line is pretty simple. We are going to use the same dot display uh, that we did with the title and we're just going to write that over here and then just set. Uh, it's not showing, but it's, I think it's set underscore icon. So you can use that and then you just type in the variable name of icon over here that we have created and this will make sure that the icon has been added. So let's just run this and see if it's working or not. So as you can see, the icon is also working and the space invaders is there. So this is looking pretty good. We have learned how to add an image, not exactly an image, just a icon uh, over here and change the title of our window. So this is looking pretty good. The third thing we need to learn is how to change the look or the background of our window. So for that, we need to use something known as screen.fill. So we are going to go inside our while running loop and over here we are going to write screen. So anything that you want to be persistent inside our game window that you want to make sure that appears continuously. It can be an image or it can be some text. It has to go inside this running infinite while loop. That is why we are going to change the color inside this running infinite while loop. So we're going to just write screen dot fill. And then inside this, we are going to create a tuple. Make sure you add another bracket inside this. So there are two brackets and then you give it three values of RGB. So we are going to give it, I'm going to explain what RGB is in just a second. I'm just going to give it a value of zero, zero, zero right now. So just to understand, uh, this RGB means is red, green and blue. And basically every color in this world is made up of these three values. And one more, you can say opacity, but let's not go into that. So RGB basically stands for red, green and blue. And this is the values. These are the three values that you can use to basically implement any color on the screen. So this makes sure and this value goes from zero to 255. So you can make it 255, but not more than that. Um, and you can use it in a combination. So let's say we want uh, just a pure red color. So we'll say red, we want 255 and then green zero and blue zero. And similarly, if you just want a green color, 
we can say 0 to 55 and blue as 0. Now what if we wanted a light, light green color? We can lower down this value to maybe like 150. So this will be a lighter version of pure green. So this is how it works basically. And uh, just to show you guys a more better version of RGB or what you can do with RGB if you haven't understood it properly. Let's go to Google and you can just type in color to RGB and go to any website but I'm just going to go to this rapid tables website and over here you can see these RGB values. So obviously I told you red is 25500, lime is 25500 this and uh, similarly and so on. So let's go with this red color right now and you can choose any values. And there are a lot more colors. You can even make your own colors by trying out different three values. So just experiment with it a little bit. So I'm gonna just choose the red color. So we are gonna go back to our code and I'm going to write down 255, but this is not going to work even though we are gonna try it, but this is not gonna work. Just telling you in advance. So you can see that it's not working. It's just a black screen. So over here, we need to use something known as update. So right now our display is not updating. So that's why Pygame provides a method known as display update to make sure that if we add anything inside our display window, it gets updated inside this while running loop. So we, for that, it's pretty easy. Just make sure that you add it after every game. So it's pygame.display. So let's just write display.update and that's it. So we have to add a couple of lines inside your py Python game code. The first line is this init line and obviously you need to make a screen, but two lines that are always going to be there is this init line and the the second line that's always going to be there is this update line because you want to update your screen because your players is going to be moving, the bullets are going to be moving, the enemy is going to be moving, the score is going to be changing. So you want to make sure that your display is always updating and by display I just mean the game window that we are working on. For this uh, program it means this screen variable. So anyways, so now we have updated it. Let's give it a shot. Let's click on play. And as you can see now it's in red color. So it looks good. We have changed the title. We have changed the logo and our uh, screen is updating to red. So I don't like red. I just wanted to show you guys that you can change the color and maybe we'll change it to something a little bit more funky in the later videos. Right now I'm just going to go with black. That is zero, zero, zero. And that's pretty much it. So guys, I'll see you in the next video where we are going to be finally adding images and our player that is maybe a spaceship some kind inside our game window. And uh, so I'll see you over there where we are going to learn how to add images inside our game. So peace out.